This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, this is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. Uh, now we're sitting in the rain. I'm going to show you real quick these two deer that we just showed you how to field dress. We're going to show you how to skin and prepare them to take to your taxidermist. It's always best to check with your taxidermist and see if he's got a specific way that he wants it done. But I'll show you the way that I prefer people to bring them to me. And this isn't caping them off the skull. This is just skinning them down, making the right cuts in the brisket and front leg area to not ruin your mount, and then be able to easily transport the head and neck and the skin to your tax service. So first step, you got to skin it down to about this point. It's really easy. We're just going to go ahead and do a cut up the inside of each back leg, and then cut around, and then start peeling it down to the tail. Now be real careful when you get to this area up here, you want to make sure you do not cut through that tendon or else your whole deer is going to come down. Okay, so at this point we just went around Real careful not to cut through these tendons here. That's gonna, if you cut through those, that's gonna cause your deer to start to wanna fall. So anyways, we cut real careful around there, made an inside cut up each leg, skinned it back around, peeled it down, just kind of followed the rib cage a little bit at this point. And so the only thing that's holding it up top is the tail area. Real careful, just kind of follow the meat. Like this guy got gored in the back here, you can tell. She might have been fighting or something like that. We had a blade so now I'm down to the tail. And if you start cutting through, you're going to find a little piece of cartilage in between each uh, knuckle, I guess you'd call it, of the tailbone. And that's where you cut through real easy. If it doesn't cut through real easy the first time, move a quarter inch and try again, move a quarter inch, and eventually you'll find where it'll cut through real easy like that. Once you get this far, you can do a lot of it just by pulling. This is the point where a lot of people really struggle with what they're supposed to do to get the cape ready for a shoulder mount to take to the taxidermist. Made our initial cut around in a circle. This is where your meat's going to be from here on up. That's why we start so far down. Go ahead and turn the knife upside down. Put it underneath, right in that white line area. And you just kind of stair step it up the whole way through until you hit the armpit. Be careful when you're pulling that you don't pull toward yourself too much. Always keep controlling the knife. Once you hit this armpit area, we're just going to go out kind of wide and just meet back up here. Just like that. So you're making a line all the way around that white and tan line, all the way up to the brisket area. Same thing on this side. Ring all the way around. Now we're going to go ahead and hit that white and tan line. Be careful, control the knife, follow that all the way up into the armpit. Stay out wide and meet up in this brisket area. Like that. Now all you have to do, continue your skinning. careful in the brisket area it's really easy to cut through because it starts to curve this way so make sure your knife is following that curvature of the brisket area now if the brisket's brought down you can go ahead and skin around each leg and then we'll go ahead and work the rest of the back skin down to it.
Okay, so now we've skinned it around the brisket, around the back. This area here, the front of the leg, you just keep skinning down and you'll start to see where you can see daylight through. Just go ahead and hit that area and just kind of gently free it down. Just working on both sides of the leg until you hit your initial cut right there. Hey, how's it going? A little souvenir for the hunter. They always like it when you find those, so you get that to him. Okay, so we're just going to continue skimming down the neck. So we've got it freed up around both legs, the brisket area, all the way down. Now all we've got left is the neck. I'm just going to keep skinning it down as far as I want to to get the most meat out of that as possible for roast and things like that from the neck row. I'm going to skin it down as far as I want to for meat. I'm going to skin it down as far as I need to to get the meat that I want for roast and things like that. But I'm going to try and leave just a little bit of the neck attached for the taxidermist so he can take the measurements that he wants to get uh, for ordering the right form to match the deer. So we're going to skin down to this point. The way I prefer it is if I get a deer in, I want to have maybe about six inches of neck left if possible. Um, if not, you can still take measurements off the cape, but it's much more natural and easy to get the measurement off of the actual carcass itself rather than from the skin because the skin can stretch and give you a, a poor measurement. I have a feeling something gross is about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. They keep cutting the deer's head off. Yeah, that is definitely gonna happen. Alright. It's not too bad though. down to about six inches above the base of the neck, the base of the skull there. I'm going to go ahead and cut through some of the meat just so the saw doesn't jiggle as much. Go ahead and take your saws off. Until you get through the spine. And the only thing you got to do at that point is just be careful. Make sure you don't go towards the cape, but just start start cutting through, and uh, just be ready to pull up when it lets go. So. so now at this point, you've got the uh, carcass skinned, ready to hang, and you've got your cape ready to take to the taxidermist. Best bet is just to leave the whole skin attached like that. Let them decide what they want to cut off. Go ahead and put that in your freezer if you can't get to them right away. You need to get it cool as soon as possible. Wrap it up in a plastic bag, straight into your freezer, and then get it to them as soon as you can. So hopefully these tips help. Uh, if you like it, keep subscribing and we'll keep it coming. Let's get out of the rain. Holy shit, man.